Alrighty then, let's get ready to get our red beans cooking all day. And I only use Camellia red beans. If you can't get them at your local grocery, you can get them on Amazon. They are a superior red bean. They're called a, referred to as a creamy red bean. I don't eat nothing else. So I soaked these overnight in a pot drain that water, rinse these very well, and I checked for stones. With camellia red beans, you don't have to get rid of the broken ones because you're gonna use some of these to smush up, oops, to um, release the cream of some of these. So we've only doing one pound today. All it is is onions that go in here. And this big old righteous ham hock that I had had in a sucky bag I think for four years <laughs> at the bottom of my chest freezer in the ham hock area. And that is going to give us all the flavor we need. So let's do this. It's dead easy. So prepare yourself for how easy it is to make red beans and rice. It is considered a poor man's meal. On the back of these packages is a recipe. I ain't doing all that. This is how I do it. So I've got three bay leaves in here. I'm just gonna chunk in some chopped onions. My ham hock is what's gonna give me the flavor. Some people like to use sausage, get it all browned. I ain't doing that. We're gonna lay our glorious flavor delivering ham hock in the bottom there. Now we're gonna take our pot filler. And we are gonna cover this stuff. It ain't rocket science. It's red beans and rice. And you know, beans are a wonderful, wonderful protein source. So I want to get my ham hock covered. Yes, I do. All righty. Now, we're going to turn on the fire. We're going to bring this up to a good boil. And then we're going to let it simmer all day. Wow, the effort necessary. I do not like these done in a crock pot. That's why I don't do it in a crock pot. It is not the same as a slow simmer. All right, so red beans and rice on its flavor given way. Because, you know, I got to make rice. You don't put rice in there. All righty, I stirred down a full boil. And notice how this has already changed. This is a beautiful thing, so now I'm going to cover it, put it on low, and we go in low and slow. Alrighty then, we are three hours in. I just added three cloves of chopped up uh, fresh garlic, and now I'm going to put in some thyme, because I am a Cajun, and thyme is our jam. I pinch them up in my hand. And my other that I like to use is simply Tony Chachers. Right there. Got the blend that I like. Fern is not a lunatic for super spicy things. Table. So I start small. And that ham hock is doing its thing. Look at the color, which was just water that we added to this. No beef broth, nothing like that. Oh, so yummy. Excuse my racket in the background. I've got the rice going over there and I have coffee pot going because it's afternoon coffee time. So my main spice is my Tony Chachier but I give a little dusting of Everglades heat. I put in two teaspoons of our own homegrown and dehydrated oregano shortly ago and the thyme. But whatever you do, add your seasoning slowly. If I were to put in two tablespoons of Tony's uh, Creole seasoning, it can taste fine, but in 30 minutes it can be overwhelming. And I also do not rush my red beans. You can see how my ham hock is broken up. It's given plenty of flavor. 
and just go low and slow. And this is the poor man's version. I ain't putting chicken up in here. I ain't putting sausage up in here. We ate two big porterhouse steaks with baked potatoes and balsamic vinegar green beans last night. We don't need no more meat, okay? So low and slow, camellia red beans that we're gonna serve over rice. It ain't hard. And hey, wash your rice. Wash it. Alrighty, my beans are where I want them. They've got a little bit of bite to them, not too smushy. So I'm going to take out my ham hock, and then I will chop up that because Vern woo, will eat all up on that. He will not suck a crawfish head, but the man will get all over a ham hock. I will never understand like like that. Now, I gotta put me some Tabasco in here because hello, New Iberia, Louisiana. And flavor. I had this on a simmer mat. If you've ever used one of those, you can only cook on low on that. Now, what I'm gonna do to get some of the creaminess out of this is I'm gonna take a tater smasher, a potato smasher, and I'm gonna push down. You can do this with the back of a spoon on the side. But remember, camellias are a creamy bean, and this will help it help to thicken this gravy. And remember, we just used water in this. All this flavor is from the beans in that ham hock. Wait, you're too low. Why are you so low? There you go. So I'm gonna bring this up, get it more than a simmer, but not a full rolling boil. And just from smashing those up, you can use the side of a spoon. I just find it, find it easier with a tater smasher. Keep it simple, kind of chick. Let's say that you put in too much water. You can use cornstarch and water. Now you wanna bring it to a boil when you do that, mix that in, and that'll get your juice or your gravy much thicker. So I'm gonna let this cook along at a little above, not a rolling boil, okay, not a simmer, about 30 more minutes. It ain't hard, it's just red beans and rice. Alrighty then, whoop, here it is. Ooh, 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 oh yeah. I love camellia red beans and rice. So Vern and I both choose to add raw onions on top of it. I just put rice in half the bowl and the beans and the gravy in the other side. And this was a perfect meal for today because it has rained all day. But it was a slow rain, came straight down, didn't come blowing in my screen porch or scare the bejeebers out of me. So we are gonna get this, get our eat on, because my inner fat girl's like, go girl, bite it. Mmm, hot, delicious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that is delicious. So you can make red beans and rice fancy, if you want to start your beans with like a bunch of turkey necks, smoked turkey necks, whatever, I don't do that because I'm a canner. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to make a wicked good turkey or chicken broth with those things. So this is poor man's red beans and rice. And after eating two porterhouses yesterday, baked potatoes and balsamic green beans, we good on eating meat. So this red beans and rice affordable and you can serve a whole bunch of people with this. Save a dollar.